So this one's walnut. We're in this field and uh, we put out carpets so that everybody is at least six feet apart. And then once the yoga starts, I feed the alpacas their breakfast. And the alpacas are just wandering around the carpets and around the people. Although they will walk and intermingle with you, they, they certainly won't jump on you or uh, lie on you. I've done goat yoga before, always wanted to try puppy yoga, but this is the first time I'm learning about alpaca yoga. This is Bray Ridge Farm and Sanctuary in Guelph, Ontario. It was started by Penny Burton and her family. We have uh, 10 alpacas, seven females and uh, three boys. Uh, they are all different colors and they are called Hakoya alpacas. We also have two horses. One is a rescue horse and one is uh, my daughter's jumper horse. And we have uh, 10 Indian runner ducks. My love of alpacas started 10 years ago when I went to New York City on a business trip and purchased an alpaca cape off a street vendor. I fell in love with the luxurious fiber and had to know more about, the, about these amazing creatures that produced uh, such amazing fiber. So as I researched, I fell in love with them and went to my husband and three children and we had no experience in farming before and said I, I want to get alpacas and move to a uh, farm. Two to three times a week once a day since July they host alpaca yoga classes. It all started with uh, my daughter's friend actually that was over and I was saying how with COVID-19 and everything that was happening in the world I found that if I went down to the alpaca field I felt much better after just spending five minutes with them and she suggested you should you should get you should do yoga and, and share that feeling with others. The alpacas are not haltered during the class they are free to roam wherever they like I never force them to go up to somebody or force them uh, if, the, if they don't want to it's truly their free choice. I keep them I'll have them forever I say to my kids that if anything happens to me, you have to promise to take care of my alpacas. Steve Jordan's professor of psychology at U of T Scarborough says this could be helpful, especially for those feeling anxiety these days. But he mentions it's not for everyone. Yoga itself generally uh, induces relaxation and relaxation is the opposite of anxiety. In fact, the best way to, to become less anxious is to focus on becoming more relaxed. What the alpacas will add is, is a little bit of interesting oddity and mostly humor, I suspect. Just the unusualness of being around these animals to begin with, and especially if they are at all playful or silly while you're trying to do this, is going to make people smile, is gonna make people laugh. And when you do that, your body releases hormones that really counter the, the cortisol that the stress response is, is releasing. So it literally pushes you into a more relaxed state as well. If you want to hear more about Bray Ridge Farm and Sanctuary, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. Under extras, there's a link. For City News, I'm Stella Quisto.